Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My thanks to Chairman Conaway and the Agricultural Committee for their prompt bipartisan response to the recent WTO ruling against country of origin labeling. Since 2009, Canada and Mexico have argued that our country of origin labeling policy distorts trade across our borders and increases cost of meat and poultry. In the U.S., we had hoped for a favorable ruling from the WTO, but their rulings and appeals have all been against us. So today, it is time to act to address the problems posed by COOL and prevent the retaliation from our friends in Canada and Mexico. If not addressed, Canada and Mexico have threatened $3.6 billion in trade retaliation. This would be a major blow to pork and beef producers in my district. But it's not just livestock producers that would feel the pain. Threat and retaliation would also impact the corn growers in my district, one of the most productive corn growing districts in the nation, and candy makers like Hershey's and Mars that have plants in my district. Again, I am grateful to Chairman Conaway and his attention to this issue and his prompt response to the WTO's ruling. I support this bill and re to repeal COOL and end the years of uncertainty faced by our farmers, ranchers, and so many others, and urge my colleagues to do the same. Gentlemen's time has expired. For what